Hello, in this video I want to int introduce this very important concept, uh, which is the column space of a matrix. Um, so the definition is that a column space of a matrix is a set of all linear combinations of that matrix's columns. And, and so what does that mean kind of in plain language? Well, if I have this matrix down here, um, what I'm doing is that I'm multiplying every column by some number, and then after I've multiplied them all by these numbers, I just add them all up. And, uh, and right, because that's what a linear combination is. I, write, I multiply every object by some number and then add up all the results. That's linear combination. And, um, and, and so basically, if I do that, right, if I multiply all these columns by some number, add them up, whatever value I get is by definition in, in the column space. So this column space is really a set of vectors I can get by doing that. And, uh, and there are going to be some vectors that I can't get to by taking a linear combination of, of the columns, right? So there's going to be some vectors that are not in the column space. So, so let me just give you some examples of some things that I could get um, for this matrix right here. So, so I, I guess I have um, A right here. Oh, what, what happened there? Let me just run the code. So I get A, which looks like that. Um, it's the same as above, right? But now in NumPy. And, um, and so how can I take combinations of these columns? Well, simple. I can say A and then multiply it by some values, right? I can uh, say, well, how many of each column do I want? Maybe I want two of the, of the first column and none of the second one. And so um, I would do that. And kind of the shape of it is a little bit uh, funny here because this is not an actual NumPy array. So I'm going to say NumPy.array and then reshape this so that there's exactly one column. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just put this in a variable, a C variable like I've been doing. So these are my coefficients. And so I'm going to take A multiplied by C. And so you can see what's happening there. I'm taking two times uh, that first column and zero, zero times that second column. So, so this vector I'm producing, that's in the column space. And, and so really, uh, whatever this produces is in the column space, no matter how you change C. This is just another definition, right? So, so maybe I could say something like this, you know, negative 1, all right? Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. That vector is also in the column space. What if I say, you know, I want one of each column, right? So, so I guess if I'm taking one of each column, I get 101. That's, that was one, 1 plus 100, 2 plus 10 is 12, and then 3 plus uh, 0 is 3, right? So this one is also um, also in the column space, right? I could, if I wanted to, um, I don't know, have uh, have like um, 100 of, of that second column and then subtract off one of the first, right? I could do that. This is an example of a vector in the column space. So, so whenever, um, whenever I might ask you, hey, is this specific vector the column space? If you think the answer is yes, it's really easy to prove it, right? Just come up with some coefficients here that, that demonstrate that you can produce that vector that you think is in the column space. Um, sometimes you're going to have to make a trickier argument. And, and so down here I have a, a more complicated example. I have a different matrix B. And then I want to know, of these different vectors down here, uh, which ones are, are in the column space? And so I'm going to try to poke around and see if I can figure it out. So just like before, I'm going to take this um, C, this coefficients, like so. And, uh, and maybe I'll just start with like, um, you know, 0, 0. And then I'll say like um, B dot product C. Uh, by the way, you know, I can always have my coefficients be zero, which means that uh, the zero vector is part of every single column space, regardless of what matrix I'm dealing with, right? So that's always one that I know I have. Um, okay, so let, let's think about this a little bit. I'm trying to figure out what values I should put here, what values I should put here, so that this thing down here is going to be um, two, two, three. And, and so, so it's almost like I'm trying to come up with a recipe, right? I want to figure out um, if I'm trying to bake this result, um, how many of each column uh, should I take? 
And, and, and so I can maybe look at this piece by piece and try to deduce what I should do. Um, I, I can see that I want um, two in, in the first place, right? And I see that I see that this column here, this column gives me a one in the first place. So, so I feel like to get a two down here, maybe I should take two of that first column. So maybe I'll just start with that. I'm gonna take two of the first column and then, then zero of the second one. And, and I see I made some progress, right? I'm kind of closer to, uh, you know, finishing my recipe, right? I have a two here. Um, I, I had a two up here. Um, I would still like to also get a two and three here, right? And, and of course, my first column is never going to give me anything of value in that place. But I guess uh, today's my lucky day because that second column is exactly what I was looking for. Um, if I want to have a two, three down here, well, look, I just need one of my one of my second column. So, so I can just take one of these and voila, I have that, um, I have that vector, the two, two, three, O. Oh, and so I can uh, conclusively say that A is in the column space of B. All right, so that's what I'm answering here. Okay, um, how about this, uh, this next one, right? Um, how can I take some combination of these columns to get zero, 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 one? And uh, and I'm skeptical about this, right? Because somehow I have to get one in this last position. And just looking at these columns, right? When I am adding up combinations of these columns, uh, I could add any sort of combination I want, but neither of them ever contributes anything of value in the last spot, right? So I mean, I could say like, you know, uh, one, two, three, and, and, and four, five, six, whatever kind of wild thing. And um, and that will affect a lot of these cells, but the last one is always going to be zero, right? No, no combination of these vectors or of these column vectors is going to give me B, right? Because B has something in the last spot and these other two don't have that. So I conclusive, conclusively say that vector B here, lowercase b, lowercase vector B is not in the column space of matrix capital B. Okay. What about this one right here? Um, this one has a negative number. And uh, at first you might think, oh, well, I'm in, I'm in trouble because there's no negative numbers up here. But there's no rule against having negative coefficients, right? If I, if I wanted to, I could say something like negative one and, and zero. And, and you can see if I do that, then I'm taking uh, minus one of this column for my combination. And so minus one of that is, well, negative one, zero, zero, zero. Um, if I want to, I can just take negative 10 of that first column, and then I get exactly this C matrix right here. So, so it turns out that C is in the column space of my matrix. Okay, what about this one here? Uh, so, so this one I'm trying to get 0, negative 2, 3. So, so let me kind of focus first on this um, negative 2 part. Uh, I can see that the second column has a two here. And, and so my feeling is that maybe I'll start off with one of the first column and uh, a negative one of the second column. And, and, and that's kind of good, right? I mean, I, I kind of, by taking negative one of this, I, I start off with zero, negative two, which is what I want. I wanted to start with zero, negative two. But after that, it goes bad, right? Because, because well, here I have negative three and, and I wanted positive three. And now you can try to see the pickle I'm in, right? Because, because if I'm trying to think about these, um, these two values here in my matrix that I'm, or my vector I'm trying to produce, they have the opposite sign. And looking at the ingredients I have to work with, column one is never going to touch either the second or third position. Only this one will. And, and so the only thing I can do is I can multiply the second vector, column vector, by different coefficients. But what you're going to see is that if I make the value at this position positive, I'm kind of forcing this to be positive as well. If I make this one negative, I make this negative as well, right? So, so I, I could flip this back to a positive number if I want, and and then in that case, well, I, I've solved this problem, right? That's three, and, and this is three down here. But I've created another problem, right? Because I made this positive as well, whereas this is not. So, so I, I could just clearly see here, right, that I could play around with these forever. And, uh, and I'm never going to be able to produce um, vector D, right? So D is not in the column space uh, of, of B. 
Okay, what about this last one? Uh, we'll do one more. So I see the first place I want a negative one, and uh, and I can see well if I oh excuse me you know this code here is what we call markdown and the, the way I got this just a little bit of an aside I went to cell and then cell type markdown and, and then I can type like um, some kind of documentation instead of code uh, not really important for this class anyway um, where was I at I was trying to produce this this guy right here. And so I want negative one in the first place. And so I want negative one of that first column, right? So I'm going to say negative one, zero. So that's good. I have a negative one there. And then I want a two, three, which is great. Well, because you know I need two, three here as well. So I'm just going to say negative one and one. And voila, I have negative one, two, three, zero. Exactly what I was looking for, negative one, two, three, zero. So this one is definitely uh in in the column space so it's good to be able to just kind of do this reasoning right either either give a concrete example for the coefficients where you can produce what you're trying to produce and therefore you prove that it's in the column space uh or try to make some sort of argument about why it'll never be possible